Asher, Oklahoma. Asher is a town in Pottawatomie County, Oklahoma, United States. The population was 393 at the 2010 census, a decline of 6.2% from 419 at the 2000 census. Asher is located at 34.988580 minus 96.926550 at the intersection of U.S. Highway 177 and State Highway 39 in Pottawatomie County. According to the United States Census Bureau, the town has a total area of all of it land. Asher is approximately south of I-40 and east of I-35. Nearby cities, with 15,000 plus population, include Ada, Oklahoma, 21 miles south, and Shawnee, Oklahoma, 27 miles north. Asher is located 2 miles, 3 kilometers, west of Chisholm Spring, once the site of a trading post operated by Jesse Chisholm, for whom the famous cattle trail was named. A Chisholm family home and cemetery are also located in Asher. Nine miles east of Asher is the Sacred Heart Mission site. As of the 2010 United States Census, there were 393 people, 161 households, and 106 families residing in the town. The population density was 491.25 people per square mile, 187.14 per square kilometer. There were 184 housing units at an average density of 230 per square mile. 87.6 per square kilometer. The racial makeup of the town was 75.8% white and 13% Native American, with the remainder of another race or mixed race. The population included 10 Hispanic or Latino individuals. There were 161 households, out of which 32.3% had children under the age of 18 living with them, half, 49.7%, were married couples living together. 16.1% had a single householder with no spouse present, and 34.2% were non-families. Individuals living alone accounted for 29.2% of households. Individuals living alone who were 65 years of age or older accounted for 14.3% of households. The average household size was 2.44 and the average family size was 3.01. In the town, the population was spread out with 27.7% under the age of 18, 5.9% from 18 to 24, 23.1% from 25 to 44, 24.7% from 45 to 64, and 18.6% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 41.6 years. For every 100 females, there were 96.5 males. The median income for a household in the town was $35,962, and the median income for a family was $44,444. The per capita income for the town was $17,340. An estimated 9.2% of families and 12.2% of the population were below the poverty line, including 2.9% of those under age 18 and 20.8% of those age 65 or over. Asher dates back to 1892 when George Matt Asher, from Clay County, Kentucky, purchased land in Oklahoma Territory from a Shawnee estate salesperson to set up his farm home. The post office was established November 26, 1901 when the postmaster of nearby Avoca, Oklahoma, George A. McCurry, moved the Avoca post office and his store to the new community that would become Asher. This was done without permission from the government and left Avoca without a post office. According to the tale, McCurry was given a home and store building as payment for moving the post office to the new settlement. The town was named for Mr. Asher, who supplied the land with the consideration the community would carry his namesake, though he never lived there. There was a sale of public lots in 1902. Asher is the last remaining post office in the original Avoca Township, which also included the towns of Sacred Heart Mission, Osmet, Avoca, Minko, Boyer, and Violet. On October 12, 1900, the Choctaw, Oklahoma and Gulf, C.O. and G., bought the Shawnee to Tecumseh Railway branch from the Tecumseh Railway Company. and promptly extended the branch to Asher. For the next 40 years, Asher would serve as the termination point for the branch and its engine, Old Beck. Rapid construction of railroads opened up of a fertile section of the South Canadian River Valley to shipping facilities. Asher was the trade center and market of the area. Further development came when, on January 15, 1903, the Jennings Company closed on 1,000 business and residence lots. The Jennings Company advertised investment in the growing town and new factories and industries of various kinds soon located in Asher. 
Asher and the new settlers had hopes of creating a large city. However, the settlers were disappointed when the towns of Seminole and Kanawha were built and took away much of Asher's trade. The people of Asher would not give up, and pulled together town resources and constructed a bridge across the Canadian River. The state then used the bridge in its construction of State Highway 18, drawing a small amount of trade to the area from nearby cities, such as Zeta. Before the construction of the bridge, those south of Asher could only cross the river when it was shallow enough. Asher, originally a cotton farming community, suffered in its early years from crop losses caused by bow weevils. Farmers were then dealt a further blow when the town's first two cotton gins were destroyed by fire. These setbacks compounded the loss of trade and left the town in dire straits. In 1927, oil was discovered in and around the town. Asher sprang up almost overnight to serve the needs of the oil workers. It was also around this time that executives moved into Asher and purchased enormous amounts of supplies and merchandise at inflated prices. There were many businesses in town, including feed and grocery stores, jewelry stores and drug stores, as well as banks, barber shops, hotels, and a small theater. Many leading families of Oklahoma, such as the McAllisters, the O'Dells, the Pattersons, the Campbells and the Byrons, lived in the town. There were also many doctors with offices in Asher. For a while, Asher became prosperous. Tecumseh, Oklahoma was originally the county seat of Potawatomi County. In late 1930, a long-standing war between Shawnee and Tecumseh escalated when voters approved measures to move the seat to Shawnee. A spin-off of this feud was the move for the creation of a new county, to be named Petroleum County. The new county would be composed of prime oil-producing land, including the southern half of Potawatomi County and portions of Seminole, Pontotoc and McLean counties. The move was started by Tecumseh's supporters who wanted to make Shawnee's county seat victory as hollow as possible by removing the most valuable section of the county. Asher was slated to be the county seat and it was planned that the greater part of Tecumseh would move down to form an impressive community. There was a paper the Petroleum County Times produced. Meetings held and petitions circulated. However, the measure never progressed further as times were not favorable for the creation of a new county. The oil boom ended when only four wells proved to be profitable. Once again, Asher was in danger of dying out. Fortunately, another oil well was found just west of the town. This time, the people connected to the well were local citizens and were cautious and conservative in their estimates and spending. This led to a small but steady production of oil in the community. Asher was dealt another setback in 1967 when SH-18 was taken out of commission and traffic was diverted west of town on the new U.S. Highway 177. Businesses migrated to the new highway and many storefronts in the original town were closed. The final business, Green's Market, which was located on Division Street, old SH-18, closed in 1985. After serving the community for 40 years. Several businesses on US 177 remain, mostly serving those traveling through the area. In 2001, Asher celebrated its 100th anniversary. The town, along with others in the county that had passed the centennial mark, was honored on a centennial monument dedicated September 21, 2007. This date was chosen to coincide with the Oklahoma centennial. Other Asher honorees were the First Baptist Church which was founded in 1902 and Asher School, which was established in 1903. The monument is located in Centennial Park, on the grounds of the Santa Fe Museum, in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Below is a timetable of major events that occurred in Asher as well as surrounding communities whose events affected Asher's history. Asher's post office was established on November 26, 1901 when it was moved from nearby Avoca. Below is a list of Asher Postmasters. Asher Public Schools is an independent school district. It has an elementary school, grades pre-K to 8, and a high school, grades 9 to 12. The school was established in 1903. In 1913, there were four other school districts within three miles, five kilometers, of Asher, Cloverdale, Gravel Hill, Avoca, and Pleasant Hill. The schools were small, consisting of only a room or two. Basic facilities were at a minimum. Talk began of consolidating all of the schools into the Asher district. This was later accomplished, presumably around the time Asher's new school building was built in 1929. Asher School's main and original building, after consolidation, was constructed in 1929. The building would later receive two additions, to either end. The center of the facility originally served as the school's gym, 
before being converted to an auditorium when a new gym was built in the 1940s. An extensive renovation was completed in late 2006 on the original building. The work was made possible by a $1.295 million bond issue that was approved by residents in February 2005. Asher School, the Indians, participates in baseball, softball, and men and women's basketball. Probably no small town is known as well for a sport than Asher's. For 40 years, from 1959 to 1999, Asher had the winningest high school baseball team in the nation, led by head coach Merle Bowen. In those 40 years, Asher won 2,115 games, lost only 349, hauled home 45 state championship trophies and 14 state runners up, and sent dozens of players to college in minor league baseball. No high school in history, public or private has won as many games as the Asher Indians. A book was written about a man who once played baseball for the Asher Indians, called, although the book was not written about him playing ball for the Indians. The baseball field in Asher was named after Merle Bowen for all the winnings he led Asher to in his coaching years that he was there, and his everlasting impression had he left on all Asher citizens. Up to this date, even after slipping into retirement, you can still see Mr. Merle Bowen at the school's basketball games and boys' baseball games. Asher also has chapters of the Business Professionals of America, VPA, Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America, FCCL, and the National FFA Organization FFA. Asher 4-H and FFA regularly captures the top sheep owners at livestock shows. Asher receives the following television stations off-air. The following newspapers are circulated in Asher. Shane Coker, an Asher High School graduate of 1988. Also played baseball for Coach Bow in fall of 1984 to spring of 1988. Upon graduating from Asher, Shane was drafted by the Cincinnati Reds, where he played for a few years. Upon returning home, he is the current athletic director and high school baseball coach for the Asher Indians since August 2006. He has led his current high school team to one state tournament appearance and his off spring season 2010 has outscored his opponents 177 to 94. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.